So it's been long debated as to whether you can actually game on a Mac, and the short answer is yes, of course you can. But I wanted to see just how far we could take this. Today we're going to be seeing just how many games you can actually play on a MacBook Pro. Before we really get started on this video, I do need to make one thing absolutely clear. You should definitely not go out and buy a MacBook Pro for gaming. The price to performance on these machines is not very good and you can get a much better gaming PC for half the price of a MacBook Pro. Nevertheless, I did want to see what type of performance we could get out of this machine that has such a bad reputation in the gaming community. So the MacBook I've got here is the 15 inch model. It's got a 2.8 GHz quad core i7, 16 GB of RAM, a 512GB PCIe SSD and a dedicated R9 M370X graphics card. For these tests we're not actually going to be using the internal monitor on the MacBook. We're going to be using my current monitor of choice which is the LG 27 UD58 which is a 4K IPS panel that looks great. It does only go up to 60Hz but considering we're using a MacBook I don't think that'll be a problem and we'll be playing all games in 1080p. So these tests are going to work on a Mac and Windows basis. So I'm going to first of all test the games that are compatible on Mac on the Mac operating system. Then I'm going to test them on the Windows operating system. On Borderlands 2 on OS X I got an average FPS of 48.23 and on Borderlands 2 on Windows I got an average FPS of 56.86 making this a clear win for Windows. Next I decided to test a fairly new game which was Friday the 13th and on this I got an average FPS of 30.1 frames per second. Now I did actually try to test Black Ops 3 on this system but it wouldn't actually load. So the Mac actually did perform fairly well on these tests. Now this may actually be due to a new feature called Metal. What Metal is, is it essentially allows near direct access to the GPU, allowing for a lot more performance. Despite Metal, I really do think that the Mac did prove itself in these tests. Now as I said at the start of the video, you should definitely not go out and buy a MacBook Pro for gaming. But still, these tests did prove that if you already have a MacBook and you just want to do some light gaming, it is possible. And so those were my results. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. There's one thing left to say and that is bye.